All right, hi guys, it's Tyler, and welcome back to After the Run. Uh, this week's episode is one I'm really excited about. Um, it's how I lost 15 pounds in five days. Uh, now, if you watched the last video, it's um, one I'm not proud about or excited about, and that's how I gained 10 pounds in 10 days. So, um, part of this video is going to talk about the dangers of yo-yo dieting, <laughs> and um, I know there will be some haters on this video because can you really lose 15 pounds in five days? Well, yes, you can. I just did it. I actually lost 16.2 pounds uh, in five days. Um, but I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it, um, so you don't have to get, go crazy on me uh, in the comments, uh, but it's going to make sense to you, okay? So first, I have to tell you a little bit about what happened the week before. Um, so if you haven't watched this video, that video, here's a little recap. Uh, it was Valentine's Day, it was President's Day, I went on vacation, uh, I ate a lot of food with my family, I didn't exercise as much, so I got away from my routine. So while I've lost 80 pounds in the last 8 or 9 months, um, I broke from a lot of my habits and, and different things that I was doing in that week, and as a result, the weight went on like crazy. Now there were a few things that I think made an unusual amount of weight go on. Uh, I was drinking soda. Uh, I was having things that were high in sodium, so I was absorbing more water, so I had more water weight. Uh, and then I didn't have a long weekend workout like I usually do, so on Saturday, I almost always have like a four hour run uh, or a lot of cardio of some kind on Saturday, and I didn't that weekend. So it would make sense that I would put on some weight. I was a little shocked that I put on a full 10 pounds, um, but it is what it is. Now, I did lose all that weight plus a little more uh, this last week. So it felt like a yo-yo to me, and I've never really done yo-yoing uh, because I've never been on a diet. Um, it's about lifestyle for me. Uh, but I want to explain what I did last week uh, to get back on track because I know this happens to everyone, especially over holidays or special occasions, that you put on some weight uh, and you want to know what can I do to get back on track because sometimes it's really, really hard to take that weight off. Uh, so let me walk through a few of the things I did. First is I made a plan, uh, and in last week's video I told you the plan. It basically consisted of this. I was going to ride the exercise bike for a uh, half hour to an hour every night um, for that cardio. I knew bad weather was coming, and so that's why the bike was important. I was also going to do some running, but I didn't know how much I could do uh, due to weather. Um, I was going to drink more water. I was going to cut out all added sugar. Um, processed foods as much as possible, uh, not have any uh, fruit except for berries, and no uh, milk. And so that was my goal for last week. Um, I didn't totally meet all the goals, and if you see from the, the title of this, I lost those 15 pounds while not doing perfect on my diet. I did have pizza last week, quite a bit of pizza last week. I had chicken nuggets, I had bacon, I had some chocolate. Um, and so my diet wasn't perfect, but here's why I could still do it. Um, while I had those things and didn't hit my diet perfectly, that's normal in life. You're going to have normal foods, and, and I certainly uh, believe that you can have normal foods. I didn't have huge quantities of those foods. I had chicken nuggets because I eat lunch at the cafeteria at my school, and that's what they served that day. But that wasn't the only thing I ate. I had a big salad with it, with peas and corn and sunflower seeds and dressing, but not a lot of dressing, uh, and beets. Um, and it was a wonderful salad, and that's what made me feel full. Uh, the fiber in that salad helped me digest my food. And so while I had chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce with it, it didn't throw me off track because I was still having good things. Um, so that's important. I had um, bacon one day, but the, the bacon I had was after a 20 mile run where my body was depleted of sodium. I needed salt in my body. And so I had quite a big serving of bacon. I'll put a, a picture on. Um, I probably had five or six full slices of bacon. That's a lot of bacon and it was really fatty bacon, but it's what my body needed, honestly. I mean, after a long run like that, you need to replenish certain things in your body. And so that really hit the spot. Um, that lunch I made after my run with five eggs, um, two sunny side up, three scrambled, um, put some salsa on it, some ketchup on it, uh, had the bacon, had a little bit of fruit, so I broke my fruit rule there too with a clementine or two. 
Um, but that's what my body needed and it felt so good after eating that lunch. So I did that. Um, I did have pizza and honestly, I went a little crazy on the pizza. I shouldn't have had, I had three and a half slices. They weren't big slices, they were normal size, like large slices. Um, but that's more pizza than I need. Like two slices of pizza is more than enough for me. So I went a little overboard and had I not done that extra slice and a half, I might be talking about 17 pound weight loss this week. That might have made a difference. So I wish I hadn't done that. Um, chocolate, now chocolate I felt so guilty. I tried so hard to stay away from sugar because the week before I had a lot. And when you eat sugar, it's like a trigger food and that's why I got rid of fruit and processed foods because for me, those are triggers. And when I have any of those things, they make me hungry for more of those things. So if I have sugar, I just want to keep craving sugar. So the faster I can get it out of my system, the better. Now on Wednesday, I had a rough day. We had a crazy storm come in and I was stuck at school for a long time. Plus I was going to meet with my doctor um, to talk about my neuropathy and set up some tests for me. Um, and so I just had a long day at school and I was stressed out. And uh, one of my colleagues always has chocolate in her classroom. So I went over and I said, hey, can I have some chocolate? And I grabbed the Reese's peanut butter cup, just one Reese's peanut butter cup. And I went back into my classroom and then I thought, Tyler, you can do this. Don't eat it. And so I threw it at my desk and I didn't eat it that day. But then the next day it was still at my desk and I ate it. <laughs> and you just shouldn't keep junk around because you're going to eat it. That's what I do anyways. And so I can't do the five small snacks a day or whatever because if I'm storing food in different places, I'm going to eat it. I just don't have that self-control. So my solution is don't have it around you and then you're fine. And so junk food in moderation you know, is not going to throw you off. Let's talk about what I actually did that made the difference so I could lose the weight. Now, part of it was because the week before I had loaded up on all this junk and I had that sodium and stuff so I was retaining more water, my first couple days this week, Monday and Tuesday, I probably lost at least six or seven pounds and a lot of that was just getting stuff out of my system. How did I get the stuff out of my system? I drank a ton of water. Um, that was really the biggest thing. So normally, I, I know that people get dehydrated under, over the winter because they don't think they need water because they're not as thirsty, you're not sweating and stuff like that. And so it has to be a real conscious effort to drink enough water. Um, but I'm also guilty of this. I definitely don't drink as much water over the winter as I do the summer. Um, but I still do drink a lot. I have a 48 ounce uh, water bottle and I usually drink one to two of those a day uh, during the day and then I'll have a little bit more at night with my meals and things like that. So um, I'm drinking a bit, probably at least 100 ounces of water a day. Uh, but this week I made a conscious effort to drink more. So I drink at least two water bottles during the day. I drink when I'm commuting home in the evening. So I get another like 30, 40 ounces on my drive home. So my water intake this week was probably up to about 150 ounces or a 50% increase. And I think that really helped get things out of my body. Um, that combined with then in the evenings doing a lot of cardio and sweating things out. And, and I really tried to um, up my pace on my cardio. Um, so that I, I could get that out. So um, that's the big thing I did was on the early in the week, just getting things through my system, eating as clean as I could and drinking a lot of water. Um, as the week progressed, of course, I kept that up and so I think that helped as well. Now, um, even having the junk, I was able to reduce my caloric intake for the week because I was drinking water. Again, if you're drinking 40 ounces of water while you drive home, you're not going to be as hungry for dinner as you normally would be. So my portion sizes for my normal meals were probably a little bit smaller each meal. So if I cut a couple hundred uh, calories off each meal, by the end of the week, that's going to be a couple thousand calories. Um, which would be a pound, you know, so I, I probably lost a pound just by drinking more water this week. Um, and not being as hungry. Um, other things I do to not be as hungry was eating clean. It's amazing how this works. If you're eating a lot of vegetables, good salads, other vegetables that you enjoy, um, if you're staying away from a lot of processed foods and things like that, you're not going to be as hungry because you don't have those triggers in your body. And so I did that this week and I wasn't as hungry. So normally during the week, I, I try really hard not to snack at all. I'll just eat my meals. And then I also do intermittent fasting. So I'm really just eating two big meals a day. I'm eating lunch, I'm eating dinner. Um, well, that's what I did this week. And in the evening, sometimes when I really want to have a snack in the evening, I'll do that a few times a week. This week I did it once. I had popcorn one night. 
Um, and it's just because I wasn't as hungry um, because I was eating cleaner and I was drinking a lot of water. So that made a, a difference and I'm sure I lost a few pounds just by not having those snacks um, and not being as hungry for meals. As I mentioned earlier, another reason I lost weight was cardio, but I've been doing a lot of cardio all along the way as I've lost all this weight. Um, cardio has been a factor, but not a big factor because let's look at the numbers. If I did a, an hour on the bicycle each night, uh, that's going to burn about a thousand calories for me. And I did do two hours on Monday, so to start the week off strong, I really wanted to lose that weight. I did two hours, and so we tacked that on. So if we're looking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, six days, um, well, let's just talk about the five days. Five days, but six hours one day, so that's six um, hours of cardio at about 6,000, 6,000 calories. Um, a, a pound of fat is uh, 3,500 calories, so not even two pounds by doing all that biking. Um, and because that was my normal routine, I'm probably not going to burn as much anyways. Um, and so that really didn't make that big a difference in, in my 15 pounds or my 16 pounds. Just a couple of that were from the biking. Now on Saturday, I did run uh, 20 miles. And in that 20 miles for four hours and a little bit, um, that probably also burnt between 3,000 and 4,000 calories. So that's another uh, pound loss just for that one run. Um, and then I had to make sure I drank a lot to replenish that and everything. So, um, so the exercise really didn't make that big difference. Oh, I did do some strength training too. I had three um, upper body workouts, but my upper body workouts are short. I'm just doing dumbbells and I can do it in 10, 15 minutes. So that's only a few hundred calories each time. So at most another pound for that. But here's the cool thing. When you're exercising a lot or even exercising at all, you're not just burning the calories while you exercise, but your, your muscles are repairing themselves and your body's working a little harder during the day as you recover. And so your, your um, resting rate is going to burn a little bit more calories. And so it's not going to make a huge difference, but this week, because I was so consistent, I think it did make a difference. And I think I lost an extra pound or two uh, just because I had that consistent extra cardio this week. So I can say out of the 15 pounds I lost this week, probably four or five of them were from exercise, uh, which is fantastic. So if you're going crazy, usually it's not healthy to lose more than a few pounds in a week. Um, but certainly if you're upping your mileage and doing things, I have a marathon in two weeks, so I had to get that cardio in. I want that base level cardio as I taper these next two weeks for my run. Um, and so by working hard, you absolutely are going to lose some weight as you're training, especially if you're obese uh, like I am. I'm still technically obese, although I think that's going to change in the next week or two. I'm right at that line from obese to overweight. <laughs> so anyhow... Um, exercise can make a factor. About five pounds from my exercise, I'm going to attribute about five pounds to that extra water consumption and then five pounds just from healthy eating. So you put those together, it's 15 pounds in a week. Can I maintain that over a long period of time? No, no way. In fact, next week, um, my goal is to run my marathon at 215 pounds and right now I'm at 216 pounds. So I'm happy to lose half a pound next week and a half a pound the week after that to get to my goal. Um, really, after a 15 pound weight loss, I just don't want to be gaining a ton of weight this week. Um, if I gained a pound or a two, that wouldn't be the end of the world. So that's the challenge. When you're thinking about quick weight loss, if you need to get in, in shape for an event or, or for whatever reason and you think, I need to lose 15 pounds as fast as possible, well, there's not very many healthy ways to do that. But you can up your cardio and lose a few pounds. You can drink more water, which actually in the short term is going to make you gain weight, but in the long term is going to definitely help you lose weight, um, especially if you're just getting off some bad eating, uh, if you've been binge eating or whatever. So water is going to do you some good. Um, I would say don't think that you're going to lose more than five or six pounds in a week. That's just not healthy, okay? Um, but do some of the things that I talked about in this video and I'm sure you can pull off a few pounds. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please uh, go ahead and click that. There's a like button. It's a thumb thing below. Click on that thing and that tells me that you liked the video and I'll make more like it. Uh, and if you've watched a few of my videos, go ahead and subscribe if you think it's going to be helpful for you. Um, if you haven't watched a bunch, go ahead and watch a few first. Decide if you like it or not, and then hit the subscribe button. And then there's a little notification icon on that subscribe button. I don't know what that symbol means, but 
Um, the notification thing, that means that when you, when I have a new video come out, usually it's on Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm just trying for Tuesday, um, it'll automatically notify you of that. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my videos, go ahead and hit that notification part of the subscribe button and then that will be happy for you and for me because I'm trying to make videos that you want, okay? Um, so that's how I did 15 pounds in five days. Actually, it was 16.2 pounds in five days, um, but you get it. All right, have a great day or night or um, week, whatever you want to have. Talk to you later. Bye.